Mmm. Oh, Smog. Smog, get, get, get a whiff of that. Get a whiff of that Godzilla action. Ah. That smells good. That smells like that fresh plastic. Ah, yes. Another dry day hunting for G.I. Joes. I do not want him. I don't need him. I'm good with the classic Copperhead. Baroness. Oh, yeah. Look at that, dude. Metalhead. And Robocop. That's a cool Robocop setup, I'm not gonna lie. But I do have, uh, I think, the original neck of Robocop, which I'm good with. But oh, man, dude, we got Metalheads. I think this is the newest thing I've seen in a Target in a long time. And I'm debating if I should get them or not. It looks cool. But I've seen cooler. Okay, so I decided not to go with him. And I'll tell you why. Don't get me wrong. It looks like an awesome figure. It really does. It looks like a cool character. But, uh, as, you know, as you guys know... I've been waiting to catch up on the old stuff that has been, you know, that came out a few months back before I even start tackling the new stuff. So I was walking Metalhead to the checkout and I was just thinking, dude, hold on. Let me stop for a second. Let me scroll on Amazon, see if they've had any uh, clearances on any figures. They really didn't. They haven't dropped any prices really on some characters, but I did see that they had Ralph Nunchuck Baducci. I'm just going to say Baducci as his name. I saw that they had them for $30, and I was going to pay $35 for Metalhead. So I'm like, you know what? I may as well pay $30 for a character I really want. And I really want Ralph. He looks badass, dude, with those claws, with his dark green camo, his bandana. So I ordered him, and it said he would be here same day. Fingers crossed, I don't open the box, and it's a salt shaker like I did with Kamakura. Let's hope that doesn't happen. This is what I do on my days off, man. I'm a pretty boring guy. My day off, I obviously wake up early, right? Because I'm used to waking up early for work every day. I don't sleep in. I get a good breakfast in. I get my three eggs. Uh, I get the kid ready, drop him off at daycare, get Chloe ready, drop her off at school. Then from the, the rest of the day, that, it's me. So I decide, you know what, let me go uh, Let me go to the coffee bean. Get me a cold brew, get the caffeine going, get those, you know, those morning, uh, get that morning dopamine rushing through my brain. Uh, the, the morning sunlight, just it's a beautiful day. What what can I do? What should I do? Check out this stuff right here. This is what I call vintage. You got these G.I. Joe, what, what do you call soup cups? Soup warmers, look at it. A-Team, Masters of the Universe, Small Soldiers, G.I. Joe. Really good stuff right here, man. Way before my time. King Kong, you kidding me? That's cool. I'm gonna go upstairs to see the good stuff. Fucking creepy guys, man. Scare the shit out of me every time. See, now this is my favorite part right here. This little shop that they have. They always have the cool, you know, old stuff. Look at that. You got Toxic Avenger. You got all these VHS tapes. And I usually come around this section. This is where they have the good stuff. You got the Power Rangers. We got uh, all the old cartoons down here. They used to have a bunch of Dragon Ball Z. But those obviously got sold. Luckily, I got two of them. Got some Pokemon, Rugrats, Rocky and Bullwinkie. Bull, what is it? Rocky and Bullwinkle. Some Mickey Mouse stuff. Teletubbies. Like, this stuff's cool to me, man. It carries a lot of history, you know? But, uh, looks like they didn't bring anything new in today. Um. And this spot's pretty cool, too. They got a lot of old toys here. They got California Raisins. Gotta love those guys, man. Care Bear Collection. Some old McDonald's stuff. Very cool, man. I love this. And then, oh, look at that. 60 bucks. 
takes the Dragon Ball Z VHS set. That's awesome. Look at this Tonka truck, dude. This thing is heavy. This will for sure fit your G.I. Joes, your six inch scale G.I. Joes. Looks like Walter White in there. That is awesome, dude. That thing's gigantic. That's like 50 bucks right there. This little store right here always has some good stuff. They call it the Time Vault. You could follow them on Instagram. I always come here to check out their VHS tapes. Like these right here, this is what I like to add to my collection. You got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the old kids clip cartoon VHS tapes. That is good stuff, man. See, I think they had a Willy Wonka last time that I was eyeballing. Here we go, right here. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I skipped on it last time because I wasn't gonna, I wasn't trying to pay the $10 for the VHS. I was gonna kinda see, you know, maybe I could find it online for cheaper, but everywhere I look online, it still comes out to 10 bucks anyways, because you got shipping. Shipping is never free with VHS tapes. They'll sell the movie for like five, six bucks, and then charge another six bucks for shipping. So $10 to add this awesome VHS case in my collection. This is a classic, dude. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is a classic. You got all the, you got all the songs in there. You know, this thing would be awesome to play on the little CRV TV. So I think I'm gonna take this one today. I really want to do a Ninja Turtles, but I'm only taking one home. It's a lot of Ninja Turtle episodes too, dude. When I had to come back and look at these comics here, dude, they have so many good Punisher comics. I mean, look at this. You got the Punisher uh, Jigsaw, dude. You may not remember my name, but does my face seem familiar? Look at that, dude. And then you got this one, Operation Whistleblower. Look at that awesome cover. This one looks dope. The Punisher War Journal. He's in war, dude. He's just firing. He's got the classic outfit going. Very good. Look at this. Summertime and the living ain't easy. But dying is in the killing fields. Looking like he's in Vietnam, dude. That is dope. This one right here. Look at this. The Punisher. Drop it, Punisher, or the kid's dead. What do I care? My kid is already dead. Like, come on, man. That's heartless, but dope. Look at that. I really like these, dude. And they're only $3 each, which is a very good deal. They have everything, man. They got Wolverine comics. They got DC comics. They got Spider-Man. More Spider-Man. They got Avengers. All for cheap prices, my guys. Very good stuff, man. But the... Uh... Oh, they even have G.I. Joe comics, too. But these right here catch my eye the most, man. The Punisher... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this one or this one. I was thinking about getting both, but I was like, nope, nope, stick to your word. You could only pick one. And I went with the War Journal with that badass cover of Punisher just straight up giving it to him, man. He's just, he's trying to carry a soldier. Saving his life, he's firing his, what is that, an M16, M4, and just going ham, man, with the classic uh, outfit for the Punisher. So I, I definitely had to take that one. Maybe, uh, you know, sometime in the future when I put the Punisher figure, like, behind glass, make a nice Punisher display, I can have this in the background. You know, maybe have Punisher have his own little detolf. So very cool, I'm very glad I, I caught that. And of course, I had to pull the trigger on the Willy Wonka VHS tape because um, it's a very cool VHS cover. I really like all the colors and stuff, and I think it's going to look great in my VHS uh, collection display. You know, I have all of the uh, uh, the side titles lined up nicely, and it's just a, a nice collection of colors and titles. So I think that one's going to fit in just right. Okay, so you guys saw... Earlier, I was struggling with the uh, with the phone staying in place. I said I got to stop buying toys and buy a, a freaking essential phone mount for my for my truck. So I did that. Um, one thing, you know, what took me so long to buy it is because I was just like, 
I'm like, eh, I don't want anything sticking to my new dashboard. I don't want anything sticking to my window. So I went to Ross just to check out some stuff. And they have this one, which hangs on your rear view mirror, which is cool. So I don't got to worry about any sticky residue, you know, going on my window, on my dashboard. And every time I buy one of those phone mounts, the stickiness ends up going out anyways. Give it like, you know, a couple months, maybe even shorter than that. The damn stickiness loses its stick and then your phone's just falling everywhere. So this is nice. I like this because it hangs on my mirror. I don't ever have to worry about it falling and it actually captures uh, the video pretty nicely. So yes, I'm very happy with this purchase and it was only 10 bucks. And then the lady, she says, he ain't going to daycare tomorrow. He's staying home with you. And now you're going to be with me all day. Are you saying you're done with your breakfast? Is that it? You're done? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. He ate all of his egg. He ate some goldfish. And we're just getting our day started right. Daddy had his three eggs. Daddy had his protein for breakfast, protein shake. You had your eggs, you had your Mickey Mouse. We gotta have our day together, son. We haven't had a day together by ourselves. I can't remember when. I can't remember the last time we had a day like that, but today, we're gonna be rolling together. And today, we're gonna do some, uh, some, some father-son activities. So what should we do today? What are we gonna do today? Hey Google, turn off. So what are we gonna do today? I just woke up. It's been a long week. I've been working like a dog. I've been needing a day off, a day off to relax, a day off to chill out. And then the lady, she says, he ain't going to daycare tomorrow. He's staying home with you. And now, you're going to be with me all day. Are you saying you're done with your breakfast? Is that it? You're done? Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Daddy had his three eggs. Daddy had his protein for breakfast. Protein shake. You had your eggs. You had your Mickey Mouse. We got to have our day together, son. We haven't had a day together by ourselves. I can't remember when. I can't remember the last time we had a day like that, but today we're going to be rolling together. And today we're going to do some, uh, some, some father son activities. So what are we going to do today? You got to take a shower. I got to take a shower and we go have a father son day. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, high five. Ah, ah, ah. And a peekaboo. Peekaboo. Good job. Let's get this day started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally hit the road. Man, I tell you, when you have kids and you're trying to get the morning started, you're like, all right, tomorrow, me and Logan are going to have a day to ourselves. We're going to take off by 9 a.m. It ain't happening, okay? Unless you got everything prepared for the next day, the night before, you ain't getting out until like 12 o'clock. Right now, it is 1148. We just barely left the house. And we're barely starting our day, man. I had to had to shower him, shower me, feed him, feed me. Um, had to get his clothes prepped, had to get the bag prepped, had to change his diaper three times, had to feed the dog. It's just the whole thing, man. You, you ain't leaving until later in the day. So we're finally out on the road. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our first stop of the day. Ross. Let's see if we can find you some Mickey Mouse toy, huh? Yeah? Yeah? High five. Let's go! Come on. Mm. What do we got, Logies? A lot of Dragon Ball C figures in uh, Naruto. But, no Joes, no Legends. I don't even know if we see any Mickey Mouse for you, buddy. I saw a pack of Mickey Mouse figures last time we I was here alone. 
So maybe Paw Patrol? Nah. He don't give a shit about Paw Patrol. I tried putting the movie on for him. Nothing. Oh, dude, these are sweet too. I see these all the time, dude. I've seen every single one of them every time I come to Ross and I want them, but... Just, I, I, I told you guys I wanted to collect the Power Rangers, you know, start getting all those first, so these turtles are on hold, but that's a really good price for these classic ones, man. I really like the old school cartoon ones. Oh, look what I found. Oh, he's been getting into Coco Melon lately. What about that? Do you like the Coco Melon? Yeah, and you could you could watch the videos in the morning with him. <laughs> it's snack time. Oh. <gasps> it's the baby. It's snack time. Ah, <laughs> uh, we might have a winner here, guys. We might have a winner here. Didn't find any figures, but I do got to get some socks for work. If you're a mailman, you got to wear them boots. So you got to wear them thick socks, man, so you could be comfortable all day. You got to go for that dry wick action, you know what I mean? Look at this right here, Adidas socks. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, buddy. I do like to roll in black, though. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to get into Coco Melon until I started playing it for him, because... Man, I just got so damn tired of listening to Mickey Mouse every day. He had to mix it up, you know? You gotta mix up your your content that you get in the day. You can't just focus all on one character and then be completely obsessed, you know? Like me, I can't be completely obsessed with Captain America. Bro, who's out here trying to steal Coco Melon toys? Like, why would they screw in? Do you guys see that? Why would they screw in the twisty tie into the back? Like, that's a pain in the ass. Now I gotta get a screwdriver just to get this thing out in order for my kid to play with it? Like, that's ridiculous. You like him? I gotta, hold on, I gotta get rid of this thing, buddy. I can't just let you play with that. Put on our clothes. Da, 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 da. Here you go. You take care of them. Oh, hell no. I just bought them for you, bro. And you already throwing them on the floor? What's up with that? Take care of them. Yeah, take care of your Coco Melon, right? He's your buddy. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I turn around, you're going to toss them on the floor. Watch. He's already looking. That looks like a good spot to throw this shit. He's gonna do it. He's gonna throw that shit on the floor. <laughs> That's my son, guys. Little grump. Oh, damn it. I knew it, man. They're all gone. They had Duke, Scarlet, and Rakondo right there. Now they just got Metalhead, which I still want. Don't get me wrong. I want a Metalhead, but I'm not going to buy him at this time. That like, I, like I said, there's so many Joes that I'm catching up on that I have like priorities with that are all on Amazon, so I'm just taking my time with them. Metalhead can wait. This guy, no thank you. Uh, already got me one of these guys. I still haven't even opened yet. So that's going to be fun to play with. Oh, they have this Luigi back in stock, man. I bought Chloe this Luigi a while back, man. And she lost it. I have no idea what she did with that Luigi. Oh, they have Shy Guy. She has that guy. She doesn't have that big toad, but... Oh, this Luigi, man. She has the Mario. She has the Peach. She does not have this Luigi. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm... Every time I buy her a Mario figure, like, yeah, it's cool. Like, when she's not here to hunt it down with me, it's just not as fun. You know, I end up just buying it for her, and, you know, it's like, here you go. And it's like, oh, 
thanks dad and add it to the shelf and that's it but i feel like it's more special when she hunts him but i'm not gonna find this luigi again <sighs> yeah luigi we get it for sister yeah sister can't find her luigi anywhere for her collection oh dude they have slipknot pops now i don't see Corey taylor that is sick slipknot pops man i love slipknot dude like when i'm working out and i need that pump and i listen to slipknot i get down bro but also every time hey whether you're religious or not that's cool but every time i listen to slipknot for like a week man some bad shit starts happening like i start getting some bad juju in my house and shit and I don't know, man, that, that may be the satanic vibes coming out. So I try to chill on Slipknot here and there. But when I lift in them weights, bro, that Slipknot's drums just boom, 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 boom. Gets me going. Yeah, I'm going to pass on the Luigi because I know Coco has been trying to get one of these games right here. Coco has been wanting to try this and me too. I've been wanting to play this game with the family. Bro, this game looks funny. What do you mean, Family Edition? Where it's kind of like uh, Cards Against Humanity. Um, but you're playing with memes. So you like hold up a picture of like a meme picture like that. And then people have to choose which uh, like meme description goes best with that picture. So oh, I really want to play this with the fam. It's 20 bucks for the game. But it looks funny, dude. It looks funny. You want to play it with Coco. I'd rather buy her that, you know, it's fun for the family instead of a Luigi figure she's just gonna put up on the shelf, you know what I mean? Dude, I just went on Amazon and they have that what do you meme pack, this one right here. $15. And I almost bought it for 20 bucks right now. And I can get it tomorrow, so that Amazon is always coming in clutch. That's one thing, man. Whenever I go to Target and I find something cool, before I end up at the checkout line, I always think, wait a minute, let me check on Amazon to see if they have the same thing for a cheaper price. And sure enough, man, call me cheap, call me smart. Either way, man, I got that game for tomorrow. It's going to come in the mail. And tomorrow I have Chloe. So uh, Mary and I will we'll play the game at the table. And Oh, shit. I didn't even know he was asleep this entire time. Which I'm kind of glad. <clears throat> I'm kind of glad he fell asleep because I didn't want to take him to the indoor park <clears throat> and then have him all grumpy because he hasn't slept yet. Maybe after he gets a good nap, he'll play with Coco Melon and not toss him on the floor like he's trash. All right, so Logan is passed out right now. So I've got some time to burn before I take him to the indoor playground, which is the same playground I used to take Chloe back when she was his age. So long ago, man. It was so long ago I used to take that kid there. Um, so when you're there at the indoor playground, man, those kids need a lot of energy. They need, they need to be in a good mood. They need to be well rested. They need to be fed. Um, and you just let them go all out, man. Just let them burn their energy the entire day for like a couple hours. Have a good time. So he's getting his rest right now. Me, I'm gonna take this time to uh, just show you guys a little uh, little haul. So uh, today's haul, I got some uh, Van Hoosen socks. Is that how you pronounce it, Van Hoosen? I, I don't buy this shit all the time, it's these, these, these uh, bougie brands. It's either Adidas or uh, like like Reebok socks or something, mainly Adidas socks. But hey man, dry wicking and performance stretch socks for the postal man here. Got some nice gray ones and some nice black ones. I've been seeing some uh, some postal men wear the gray socks at work. I'm like, damn, I need to get some gray socks. Those kind of look fresh. With some black boots, some shorts, it's, you know, a little bit of gray, mix up the colors a little bit. You know, you see you are your other employees and you see the kind of style they mix in with their uniforms. And you're like, I gotta try that. So, I had to give me some gray socks. Um, that's not the only thing I've got. So, I, I didn't find anything today, any toys for me. Found Coco Melon for my son, which is good. You know, he needs something to, you know, he hasn't gotten a toy in a while. Um, Chloe passed up on the Luigi for her because she's had a Luigi in the past. You could always get a Luigi. 
but that family uh, card game she's been wanting for a while and if anything that's something that brings us closer together as a family we love playing card games together just the three of us um, when Logan's older he could join us but we love our card games because we, we laugh our asses off, man. We, we have a good time when we play card games together. So I think we're going to have more joy out of that card game than a Luigi figure we can get any time. Now, for me, I'm not tripping that I didn't find anything today because uh, I got something right here that I still haven't even unboxed yet. I've been looking at it all week coming home from work, just sitting on top of my dryer after I, you know, I brought it in from the door. It was you know in the doorway from Amazon been sitting just looking at it all week thinking oh, I'll open it just not now not now now's the time all right I got time so nunchuck this is Ralph nunchuck Baducci Baduki Baducky Badussy I don't know how you pronounce his name all these GI Joes they got funky names I still don't know if I pronounce Kamakura right Kamakura Kamakura I, I don't know but I'm gonna call him Nunchuck, all right? I don't know anything about this character. There's a lot of G.I. Joes that I don't know about as far as their origins, you know, their, their specialty and you know what they're known for, their backstory, so I've got a lot to learn. But Nunchuck here just looks so badass with his camo, with uh, the headpiece that he's got on, the mask, the weapons he comes with, like, if there's anything I love about G.I. Joe figures, it's the ninja figures that they come out with, such as Snake Eyes, Kamakura, um, who else have we gotten for ninjas? I can't think of the top of my head, but we've gotten a ton. And the masked figures that we get, like Beachhead, um, uh, Shockwave, who else have we gotten that's masked? Uh, I can't think, I, I have such bad on the spot thinking, but you guys know what I mean. Like the masked figures, they look so good with G.I. Joe. Even the Cobra Troopers. So any masked figure that comes out, I'm getting. I'm getting it, dude. So with that being said, let's open this sucker up. Have ourselves a little unboxing while the kid's asleep. And uh, hope that there's not a salt shaker in here or anything else that's a fig swap. It's happened to me in the past. And it hurt very much. It's, it's like it brings me trauma to this day that I opened up my Kamakura from Amazon and it had a salt shaker in it. Hopefully he looks good, uh, you know, no missed paints. No loose arms, no loose legs, none of that. Let's just hope it's a very good figure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, he looks good. He looks really good. Oh, dude, let's get him out. Away from the steering wheel, wow. The eyes look a little dark uh, from the, I don't know, what is that, the uh, the laser printing that they do with these guys? But it looks kind of cool, I like it. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. It gives it its own character, like dark shadow eyes. Really matches this character. Fucking mustache is tickling my nostrils, damn it. Very sick with the camo stripes, the tiger stripe. Very cool uh, ninja feet he's got going on. A little bit closer look at the uh, the eyes. Sick, man. This might be one of my new favorites. All right, man, that is dope. Oh, this figure kicks ass, look at that. That looks really cool. With his, uh, that's the pose with his swords that he comes with. Just kind of running toward you with them. Oh, yeah. Get some. Look at that. I love it. I love it, man. This is an aggressive character. This dude's got aggression to him, man. I love it. Oh, yeah. Ready to give him the business. Look at that. Very cool, man. Uh, kind of clipped in there. Hanging. 
Sick, man. I should just leave them there and just drive around like that, huh? Hell no. Probably damaging his claws doing that. No, no, they're still good. 10 out of 10 figure. 10 out of 10. I wish I had another G.I. Joe to pose him with, though. That's one thing I didn't do. I need something. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, he's like trembling because he's afraid. Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of toy that is, but it seems a little extreme. All right, I'll put you where you belong. <sighs> Looks like someone woke up. Hey, buddy. You ready to go? Can we finally go to the indoor park and get you going? See, what the hell, how'd this toy end up here? High five indoor playground. I haven't been here since Chloe was like three years old. Is that his hand? Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> it's his first time, he's like, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but I've never seen so many colors in my life. So many balls, so many toys. Yeah, woo! <laughs> that's a bad idea. I think that's a bad idea. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're okay, you're okay. Toughen up, boy. Toughen up, Logan. Let's go. There we go. He got it that time. Let's push the cart. We're doing it. Here we go. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Wait, don't go down by yourself. Oh, this dude's crazy. You're not going down by yourself. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come down. You got it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we gotta make it through this. This is claustrophobia 100%. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Come on, let's keep going. I'm right behind you, son. Keep going. Whatever you do, please don't fart. Yeah, it's a little tight in here for me. Hopefully I don't get sandwiched in here by kids. Go on without me. I'm not gonna make it. Tell my wife I love her. Go! Uh, we made it. Uh. Oh! You okay? Get a hand. Come on. Come on, brother. I got you, brother. Get on up, brother. We all make falls every once in a while. Teaches us to pick ourselves back up. Lunchtime. It's lunchtime, huh? I know you're thirsty. That's turkey. That's turkey. Yeah, turkey. Daddy's got to roll with the healthy tuna sandwich so I get that protein. Hi, <laughs> bye. Keep going. 
Keep going. I got you, grab my hand. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Go, you got it champion. Take it. Go. Go. Wee. No. No. No, I said no. I think I found his favorite thing, which is the, uh, the ball pit. Let it rain. You swamped? I'm pretty swamped. I don't know about you, son. But we had a good day, didn't we? You had a blast. He learned to climb a lot more. He learned uh, to slide down a giant slide, you daredevil. You went up a big slide, huh? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, you did a big one. We gotta go home. Mary's gonna be off of work soon. We don't have Chloe today because she, uh, her mom was gonna take her today. She went to Knott's Berry Farm yesterday too, so she wasn't missing out on any fun. But I'll be seeing Coco tomorrow so we can play that family meme card game. And uh, yeah, man, me and Logan are gonna go home and shower up and eat some dinner, huh, buddy? Uh, we, we finally have all the kids. This is my third day off, which uh, landed on a Saturday, which is cool. And uh, we decided to go to the mall real quick and possibly take these kids to the indoor park later. Hey y'all, it's Mary. So it's not just me and Logan, we actually have the whole family. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm here to get. Here at the Galleria Mall in Riverside, it's, uh, it's a Godzilla statue that I've been trying to get for quite some time um, from the place called uh, what is it it looks it looks comics I think or is it pure blades I think it's pure blades yeah we'll see if they have it here man and I can take it home today we might go to dinner later on too after that let's just see what happens like probably like $40 to get your kid a haircut there here come on Ah, here it is right here, Pure Blades. This place always has good stuff, man. Every time I come here, there's just statues. There's very good prices on their figures. Always got Chucky dolls, but I'm here for Godzilla. So let's see if they have them still. There he is. There he is. That's my boy, 30 bucks. They have all the Godzilla goodies. Look at these guys, sold as a set. And then these Isn't guys. Is melt in the summer? No. She asked that because I want to put this on my uh, on my dashboard in my truck because I named my truck Kaiju Kaiju for Godzilla, so he can be my little truck mascot. Dude, these are dope. Dad, who's that from? That's Harley Quinn. Oh. Oh, dude, 139, 140 bucks for that Godzilla. Got Hulk up there, dude. The Storm Shadow. And Red Ranger and the last time we came here I was eyeballing him too because he's 30 bucks and I don't have a Vegeta statue man Vegeta being my favorite from the Dragon Ball Z oh look at that these are good prices man 30 bucks I, I can't complain and there's so many Piccolo oh so I never knew that daddy liked anime I mean, he just like, he just started watching like different things and stuff like, you know, a lot of people do that, like they get to watch different things and stuff, but everything out of, like everything, but you pick anime. Wow, they got Stan Lee, a statue of Stan Lee. See, everything, 
everything out of anime. Like, I'm sorry for the anime lovers out there, but I'm just not a fan of anime. I think Daddy's turning into one. Gosh, I'm not going to be happy about that. Because this is the 1995 one, so I'm gonna look up 1995 Godzilla in my system and see what other ones I have that pop up. Okay. I'll be right back over here. Let me see. I'm gonna look up 1995 Godzilla in my system and see what other ones I have that pop up. Okay. I'll be right back over here. All right, we went to Pure Blades, right? And that Godzilla that I found, they only had the orange, orange color. Then we went to like two more stores and they didn't have it. So then. Pure Blades only had this one right here, but I wanted the original the with the gray and the white. And I, my dumbass went and ordered it online because I was like, all right, if they don't have my color, I'm just going to order it on Big Bad Toy Store because it's the only place I had it for 30 bucks. And then I kept looking around the stores, kept looking around the mall, and then I went in this place. Uh, it's like one of those anime shops. And sure enough, dude, they had one more left of the color that I want. <sighs> And he's 30 bucks. So now I don't have to wait two weeks from Big Bad Toy Store to get this sucker. Taking him with me today. Sick. See, that's the one I originally wanted on my on my uh, dashboard. You can get that on Timu. But this is better. That one's dope. That's shit Godzilla. All these little guys, man. Every store has like a Godzilla section. Like we went to Hot Topic, Godzilla section. Box lunch, Godzilla section. These are dope. I don't know about that one. That looks a little, a little funky. But oh, Mothra. Nice. Man, I, I'm still in disbelief that I just found this. Still have to cancel my order on BigBadToyStore.com, but they're closed on Saturdays, so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do that. Uh, look at this monster. This monster done woke up. Logan! <gasps> Yay! He doesn't want you guys to see it yet. Oh, dude, he's sick. We gotta smell him. Mm. Oh, smell him. Smell get, get, get a whiff of that. Get a whiff of that Godzilla action. Wow. That smell good. That smell like that fresh plastic. Yo, he is so. Good. All right, let's go put this sucker in the car. We're gonna go get some pizza. So this was my original plan right here. I want to see how it looks, but in order for me to put this up, I have to get a like a sticky mat or something on there, or some putty. Oh, you're literally gonna stick it on there? Right there, yeah. Dude, someone's gonna break in and try to steal that. No. <laughs> Would they? You know what's funny? I thought he was like a, like, like a what? pottery, like clay, like hard clay, like where he could break. He's not, he's like plastic, he's hollow plastic. Like yeah, the, you wouldn't want clay there. That's what I'm saying. Melt. So this won't this won't be damaged by the heat, huh? It'll probably get soft. See, it'll probably get soft. But look, that looks good. It'll probably fade if you have it there like forever. Worth it. I could always buy another one. He's only thirty dollars. The truck has style now. We should move to Riverside, huh, babe? So now we're going to the Riverside Plaza. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Riverside Plaza. That's where they have the California Pizza Kitchen. So let's go. And Coco, Coco just got her Patrick hat from Box Lunch. So let me see Coco. <laughs> Logan's falling asleep. Ha ha ha, Alexa, what are you doing? With your little gremlin fingerprints. Here at GameStop, found this guy. This looks pretty cool. They're cool, but I'm not after them right now. There's my boy, looking cool. Got two of him. Look at all these WWE wrestlers, man. This looks pretty sweet. Oh, mutt and junkyard. Sick. And we got some. 
some legends. Look at that Luke Cage. Whew, beautiful. <clears throat> Got a cool looking storm. Multiple man. Doc Ock, Spidey. Pretty good stock, man, but I'm not after any of these right now, you know? You guys know I'm after, you know, catching up on the Joes and stuff. Oh my gosh. You guys gotta try this place, man. Hi. Gotta have a ranch dressing. Yo, we are about to feast, guys. All right, let's get into it. All right, so after pizza, we decided to come and get some U.S. donuts. I grew up in Uptown Riverside, and I've never seen this place before, so... I want the blue one! I want the blue one! I assume it's uh, somewhat new. Oh, wow, they got Cookie Monster Donuts? I want that one. Oh, what? Fruity Pebble Donuts. Cheerio Donuts. Whoa. We shouldn't have came here. This is dangerous. That was wow. mine. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So we gotta get you sugared up before Wait, we take you, guys, you to the playground, huh? Look at this bite, okay? Three, two, one. Guys, have to try this place. <laughs> All right, so we're just eating in the back of the truck because there's no way in hell these kids are getting in the back seat with donuts. What you got? What is that? My vanilla cream one. Vanilla cream? Oh, wow. These are pretty bomb, too. How's that? This is good. That's good? Let me get mine. Where's my, where's, where's mine? Where's my mine little... Looks mine looks sad? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, she just threw it in there. That's why. Mm. The Cheerios. Look at oh, the it. Fruit Loops are so stale. That's why I never get anything with cereal because it gets like stale fast. It's so stale. It's like cardboard. It's still good. Anyone want a water bottle? What? I'm alright. I'll get a water bottle. Oh god, we're warm. Not bad. We gotta just come when it's fresh. Alright. Oh, you got this fruit loop. You're gonna choke on that. Here he goes. <laughs> Go, show mama you do it. Go! It's not covered. son get over that wall I said get over that wall private I want to see you climb boy go 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 <laughs> he's got it <laughs> sounded like goofy <laughs> sounded like goofy <laughs> It's been a, a blessed couple of days. I can tell you that much. Like each day that I've had off this week, I've made the best of it. You know, working out, staying in shape, um, spending as much time with the family as possible, going on little mini hunts and finding pretty cool things. <sighs> I can't complain, man. It was a nice couple of days off. It is... 11:30 at night. I have work tomorrow on a Sunday delivering express packages. I got to get this vlog out to you guys. So, staying up late editing it, getting all this taken care of, but I'm I'm sitting here grateful cuz I scored 
because I scored this guy this week, which is pretty dope, man. Really love this nunchuck. Really good figure. And this awesome piece, man, which I'm really excited uh, can go on my truck dashboard. I just got to get some sticky tape, uh, some 3M tape to stick on the dashboard. And uh, yeah, he's going to be my new truck mascot. My Tacoma. Uh, I named it after Godzilla, so got to start adding some characteristics to it to, you know, represent. <sighs> but with that being said, guys, uh, good news on the Bazooka movie. Um, it is officially uploaded on YouTube. Just going through the process of making sure monetization is okay, um, that I'm not going to get copyrighted for any music put into the movie, um, you know, setting up the, the pricing and stuff for like when I release it, uh, trying to set up... Um, trying to set up like a premiere for the movie. So I'm really glad that I'm getting that stress off my back too. So uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your figs. I hope you enjoy your families. And as always, good hunting. More videos to come. Peace.